Hello, and welcome back to Dishing on Swishing. Today is the start of a new series called Versus, where we break down the differences and similarities of the best in the game. Today we compare two players who are widely considered to be the best shooters of all time, Stephen Curry and Ray Allen. Let's get started. One fairly unknown similarity between these two players we'll notice is that neither uses their given first name. Steph's full name is Wardell Stephen Curry, and Ray's full name is Walter Ray Allen. Now looking at the stats, we'll notice that Curry has a slight edge in most all statistical categories, but Ray Allen's numbers have been bogged down a bit by lower numbers later in his career in smaller roles. Moving to percentages, we really see the brilliance of these two players. In three-point percentage, we see Curry shooting 44%, which is second all-time only to coach Steve Kerr. And Ray Allen shoots at 40%, which is good for 36 all-time. An effective field goal percentage, which takes into account that threes are worth more than twos, Curry shoots 56.69%, which is good for 11th all-time, while Ray Allen shoots 53.04, good for 61st all-time. In true shooting percentage, which measures free throws, three-pointers, and field goal percentage, we see Stephen Curry shooting 60.84, which is good for 9th all-time, and Ray Allen shoots 58.01, good for 50th all-time. Next up is shooting form. This is the most subjective thing we'll be covering, as playing style and position have a lot to do with how a player shoots, and there's a lot of different ways to accomplish this. Going from the ground up, we see that both players use different footwork depending on situation. The one-two step when they're all alone, and the hop in quick catch-and-shoot opportunities. Both players dip the ball slightly before going up with their shot. This gets the ball into a shooting pocket, making your shot more repeatable. Allen dips a little more prominently than Curry because of the extra motion in his shot. Ray Allen is a high jumping player. There are merits to this style of shooting, but it is very difficult to master. The thought behind this form is that releasing the ball on a plane the same height as the rim decreases the arc needed and puts you closer to the rim, as well as making it tougher to contest, allowing him to shoot over virtually anyone. It slows his shot speed considerably, but the release is still quick. He uses it to perfection, always releasing at the pinnacle of his jump. Curry's form is extremely different from Allen's. Curry is a short jumper. He barely leaves the ground every time he shoots, and he usually releases before the top of his shot. This doesn't hamper his shot in any way, however, because he adjusts for everything. He doesn't jump high, but his shot is nearly impossible to contest because his release is lightning fast, and he arcs his shot ridiculously high over the reach of taller players. Both of these styles are extremely effective, and both players have put a tremendous amount of time into practicing and perfecting these shot styles. Neither is really superior to the other, and both players have molded their shot to fit best with their unique style of play, which we'll cover in the next section. Both of these players have their own different sets of strengths and weaknesses. Ray Allen's game was more catch-and-shoot focused, as he could operate in the mid-range like few other players we've ever seen. Curry is very capable of catching and shooting, but prefers pull-ups from the top of the key the most. This focus was exposed a little bit in the finals, as Curry couldn't get some of the shots off the pick-and-roll that he wanted. Looking at the shot chart of Ray Allen in his last year with the Heat, we see that he shot very well from the top right and is sizzling 57% from the left corner, while Curry was particularly hot from the top of the key and from the right corner. The way they create their own shots is unique for each player as well. Steph operates farther from the basket than Allen and doesn't go mid-range as much unless it's off the dribble. His scoring drives usually end on floaters or reverse layups. He's extremely effective running off screens and is very good cutting off of them. Any more than that we'll have to go to his own signature moves video. 
Ray Allen, on the other hand, is the ultimate cutter. His use of screens when he played for the Celtics is unmatched, and his slashes with the Supersonics and the Bucks were extremely effective, as he is such a smooth athlete that whatever way you tried to guard off the ball, he would take advantage. Catch and shoot was his go-to move, however, and his ability to rise over the defense and score was very effective. Moving to accomplishments, we see that Curry has one championship while Ray Allen has two championships. Ray Allen is first in regular season and playoffs in three-pointers made. In single season, Steph is number one and number two in threes made regular season and number one in the playoffs. Ray Allen has number three in the regular season and number three in the playoffs as well. Curry has two MVPs. Ray Allen has 10 All-Star games. Each has one three-point competition win. A little known fact, Ray Allen has also competed in a dunk contest. Conclusion As we've seen, both players are absolute assassins from all over the floor. Ray Allen was consistent for many years and went out on the top, while Stephen Curry is the hottest player we've ever seen from deep. If he maintains his incredible shooting for a while, expect Curry to surpass Allen in most shooting categories. But this does not discount the greatness of Ray Allen, it just shows the new breed that Stephen Curry represents. And now it's time for the post-game interview. In the last video, we saw that only 10% of you think that LeBron is overrated. In this video, I want to know who you think is a better shooter, Ray Allen or Stephen Curry. Click on the annotation or comment below to vote. I'm sorry for the long time between videos. I've had a lot of trouble with the YouTube copyright system and had to move everything to a different editing software. Thanks for sticking around and we'll be sure to have more videos up in the future. Thanks so much for watching.